What's going on everybody, Jade up here. Today's video, I will be discussing the builds that I use in Veteran Black Rose Prison. Um, I'll be showing you the setups that I use, uh, the two setups that I used for heavy build and then my kind of selfish build. And then I'll go over some alternatives that I use to complete it and kind of discuss. We'll kind of, and then we'll go over some monster sets and where's the traits and all that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, we're gonna buff up right quick with Major Resolve and Ward, and then just go to our character sheet, kind of check. It. Sixty points in the health, four in the stamina. I am a Dark Elf. Uh, I was a Breton when I did it. I tried it as a Breton, uh, Red Guard, Imperial, Argonian. Uh, like I, I did it as a high off as well, and that's pretty much all the ones that I did. The easiest one by far, obviously, is going to be Argonian. So if you're an Argonian, definitely that or whatever Argonian. Here, mainly because of the healing, uh, the healing passive that you get for Argonian. It, you can definitely. Well, I've been an Argonian for three years, and I just recently started changing class a lot or my race a lot uh, argonians by far probably the best you can definitely feel the heals um when you're not an argonian keep that in mind if you're not something if you're something else and you're looking to change argonian you'll definitely see uh, the healing you receive in there a lot better um so our spell resistance 29k, physical is 27k, and then our max magica 17 health is 39k, and our our magic recovery sitting at 11. We're running the Lord for that max health. Stage four vampire. I've been stage four forever, and I haven't changed it. I just don't feel any. So if you feel like you you're a vampire and you feel like you want to lower it go ahead uh one of the sets we are running is the uh, minor agus or whatever you however you want to say it which basically reduces the damage i take it from trials mobs and all that stuff ee related by five percent so we'll go into pots right quick that we're using and then we'll go into the well, the pots that I used in here were the uh, tri-step pots. I really, really, really like these. They are definitely a lifesaver. Hands down. I also tried Essence of Speeds on certain areas where I needed to stack ads quick and, quick and fast. But, excuse me, they weren't as effective as the tri-step. I did do I did do one run where we did nothing but tr uh, trash pots and that was a living hell. So I don't recommend it. It was kind of a pain in the ass because I wasn't Argonian. Um, and I did do Essence of Lingering, well, and it actually wasn't as it wasn't as bad. Um, than Tristat, but it still was kind of a pain in the ass. A good, I got a good heal and ticking from this, but getting much more resources back was a lot was a lot better in my opinion. <clears throat> and then we're using the tricep. So we'll talk about the monster sets now. Monster sets that I used throughout here were Earth Gore, I used Bloodspawn, Thorvikin, Vicosis, I used uh, engine guardian and and shooting i think i said lord warden at the beginning yeah i used lord warden um the best one hands down is definitely earth core so i would definitely consider getting earth core if you do not have it the next best if you have a healer or if you have uh, quite a bit of off heals going uh, lord warden is really nice because they changed the aoe on it it's Pretty big now, so that's super super nice. Uh, Lord Warden's good. Blood Spawn's pretty decent. Engine Guardian's actually not as bad. 
The only issue with that is when it procs the health one, you're st you're still taking a lot of damage, so you'll need to go and follow the mechanics. Um, Blood Spawn's okay. Uh, Chiodin was okay, but I mean, you really don't need those. Um, I, I would just stick with Earth Core. We didn't run a healer the first time we completed it, and Earth Core definitely saved a lot of lives. And the traits that you would want on your helm, uh, I like I like infused on my big pieces, so infused on helm, chest, the legs, uh, and then I like well fitted or sturdy on my. You could probably do whatever you feel the need. You have whatever you need. I just like sturdy or well fitted, and I don't really have the geodes to constantly keep retrading everything, so I. I'm keeping it. Now the first set we're talking about is going to be Olos. Uh, I run on the jewelry and weapons. Talk about the jewelry first. I running robust, healthy, and one on cane just to kind of get pulls going. You could run Triune if you would like. I just don't have. I don't know. Oh, that's super beneficial. <clears throat> I'm extremely cheap in this game. <laughs> Those of you guys that have been watching the channel for a while, you'll definitely see. I try and do everything as cheap as possible. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't have a lot of money, and I definitely don't. So I'll try and make it as just as cheap as possible. Now, all those, you don't have to get perfected. Um, the only difference between perfected and non-perfected is the five-piece set uh, adds 1,900, excuse me, 1,906 Magicka. <clears throat> That's the only thing. Non-perfected has the exact same thing. It just doesn't have that five-piece set where it has the 10. So that's that's really like the only. It does help to have it, but it's definitely not something. Um, you can get this from Veteran Cloud Rest. Super easy to get. Tons and tons of people are still running this just to get the Reliquent set and that other stuff. Sure, you can find a group in either Craglorn or Somerset or basically any busy town. Um, so it's a light set. You definitely want it on your jewelry and weapons. For sure. Uh, and the enchants I'm running on my jewelry are two shield play and one magic recovery. I've torn around with this. I've done three magic recovery. I've done three shield play. I've done uh, heat pots. I've done heat pots with shield play and magic recovery. I've wasted a lot of money trying to figure out which is the best one for me. And I really liked the shield play. Like the shield play with the recovery. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of times where you're you're having a block in there and use a crap ton of magicka. What's the kind of setup that I? Have. Um, as far as the weapons go, I had the sword and board and resto staff on the back. The reason why we have the resto staff on the back bar is a five piece set that it does. passing abilities. Basically, casting a ground uh, ability while you're in combat, you're going to leave down a circle that grants protection. We're going to go over here. We're going to attack this thing. And there's uh, there's what major protection. Step in it gives you major protection. As you can see, or excuse me, major courage. I don't know why I kept saying it. It gives you major, major courage for as long as you're in it. And it'll last for 30 seconds. As soon as that disappears, you can pretty much lay it, lay it back down. You're good to go. So, go ahead and run away from this. That's why I really like, why I really like Olo's in here, because you can literally put it anywhere in the in in the arena. And people could just run over quickly, get it, and then run run back away to wherever they need to be uh, attacking things. So that's why I really like Olos in here. 
you're getting no major uh, courage from anywhere because nobody's running spell power and we're not having a healer. But in the course, I'll go over a set that, that talks about if you're running a healer. So that's what Olos does. That's what we call it, Olos. Uh, on As far as the trace go, I changed them both to infuse with Crusher on it. And the reason why is because there's going to be some times where you're either stacking a boss or you're holding some adds away from the boss so you guys can just try and nuke the boss. And you can do that by, you know, kind of buffing up and then heavy attacking the boss far away and then still playing Crusher. So that's why I did it that way. The second set I'm using is called Battalion Defenders. It is from uh, BGs and PPP. It's uh, words you get uh, that you have a chance of getting. Kind of a pain in the ass to get. It's also where spell strat comes from. Those are you guys that deep. Um, spell strat and then Battalion or new sets. It just came with Merc Meyer, so obviously. They're gonna be a kind of they're gonna be super pricey as well. So it might be beneficial for you to get on your CP characters, go on the BGs, do do your do your dailies and hopefully try and get some. Um I asked quite a few people to help me out with this setup and um I got it like pretty much the same day, uh, which was super, super nice of a lot of people. And I can't think of them enough. Trey, Trey Buford and Atrocities Gaming were ones that, that really, really helped me out. There was a few others, but those are the ones that, that gave me probably like the most. Um, so again, I have been fused on my, my chest and pretty much have sturdy on there. Uh, this is the pieces that we actually just got. The ones that are were traded or that we transmuted, they were like uh, integrating and training and stuff like that. So I, I got extremely lucky with, with help. So I could help and make But uh, Battalion Defender is a really nice set. Basically what it does when you home block and somebody hits you, uh, it's going to heal you for a certain amount. And what we can do, we can demonstrate that as well um, with this or with this uh, so we're going to attack that. We're going to go ahead and get our health down. Then we're going to hold block. Of course, Orth Gurr Prox. Then we're going to come back over here, balance, and just hold block. As you can see, I'm just getting healed. 1386, 2773, 2773. Just getting healed over and over again. This does proc Earth Gore, it'll proc. Uh, like pretty much any human that that kills somebody, so it will proc it. It's super super nice in there. The highest I've seen it tick for uh, was 4900, and the lowest I've seen uh, it proc for was uh, 3000, like 3007. Very very low. So this is a really really nice set to have. Um, another set that you could run uh, with Olos is the Galloan set, which I have yet to do yet, but I did run Galloan and Eben in here. It was super, super nice. Um, I had just a ridiculous amount of health and stam. I think I had probably like um, I pretty had I pretty much had like 40k health and then I had like 25k stamp because I could put all my points because of this set right here it could it gives you that max health so it's super nice so you're basically getting uh, 22k extra health from just Gallowin and then Evan gives you a crap ton of health you didn't have to put too much in health that's um, the Gallowin is also a nice set to run if you run Gallowin and Olos or even Gallowin and Battalion Defender, both both are a good setup. You can run, you can mix and match these setups, and uh, still kind of support your group in a good way. Uh, Olo's with the ground dots, Battalion with the healing, Galwin with the uh, the buff for the environment. Um, so that's this is the first setup that I would recommend. 
Um, this is probably the best rec recommended that I found. That they're super nice. The second setup I, I would probably recommend you, know, you could do if you have all those. You don't have Battalion Confender. Um, you can probably you can easily run Evan. Super nice to give you and your your some extra health. Uh, or you can run Dragon. Dragon is a really nice set in here too because it can reduce your ultimate cost. That's nice. Um, you could also run Torugs. I did run Torugs in here as well. I run Torugs and all those um, just to kind of increase the, the crusher for single target. Um, but I felt that the healing in here for our first few times was just valiant. So um so yeah if you don't if you don't have any of these if you don't have battalion or you don't have uh, lows then I could I would definitely suggest running Evan and Dragon those two combos those two sets are just a nice combo you're gonna reduce your ultimate cost and you're gonna support your group. Um, everybody that's a tank or that's been tanking a while should at least have Evan and Dragon if you've been watching this. Uh, watching my channel for a while, I preach. I've been preaching on these two sets for like a ridiculous amount of time. I've been preaching on Torogs before it was even you know, sought after, before all these other people started saying, Oh, you should run Torogs. Yeah, I've been saying this since years ago. <laughs> um, these three sets you should definitely have as a tank, uh, again, and, and out caution. That's another time. Um, but yeah, you can run Dragon Dragon and Evan. Super easy to get. This is from Crypto Hearts 1 and 2, and then Dragons from E. Torogs you can make. <clears throat> Actually, you can make Torogs uh, over here in uh, Deshaun, which is going to be over here. Torogs back. I don't know where it's at in every other place. I usually on an EP. Uh, as far as those sets go, those are super nice. Those are two different sets that you can run. Uh, Battalion, Olos, Dragon, Evan, Galloway. We'll have to have the perfected set. The only reason I have a perfected set is because I was going. we were pushing for Griffin Heart that we finally got. And if I didn't have perfected set, I would I would probably still farm. I would probably farm the other stuff. Or I'd probably farm the non-perfected right out. They're, they're both about the same. The only difference is that first five piece. The health, the damage, the main. All that stuff. Now, the very last set, uh, the selfish set that, that I like to run in here sometimes. And you guys will probably already know it if you've been in the channel for a while. It is the dragon and the potato set. I cannot stress. How OP these two are together. Reduce your ultimate cost by 15% and then reduce your cost by 10%. 25% reduction in your ultimate. Bullhorns horns and a 250 ultimate is cost 193. Mag was a 200 ultimate, it's a 150. I do use this sometimes in here, and it's a 104 uh, ultimate cost. So. Kind of crazy. Uh, potatoes, super nice set. Super, super cheap. No matter what platform you're on, it's it's cheap. Nobody ever picks this set up. Super cheap to run if you want to be super, super selfish. This is definitely the one to go to. I actually use this setup right here. Potatoes, Dragon, and Hispark on the fourth round, fourth boss uh, to get our first clear on. Because uh, there's a lot of damage going out, we didn't understand the mechanics and stuff like that, and there's just a lot of a lot of dots and stuff. So this this def this combo definitely helps. It still helps me out when when I'm with um, some groups that don't know what's going on. This is definitely now that I know how to avoid certain attacks and stuff. Um, this setup right here makes it ten times. Now if you buff up with major. Resolve and Ward, you're still going to be sitting at 22 
for 28 spell and 30k. But there's still 40k health and 17. Magicka was still, you're sitting at, excuse me, 1100 for Magic Recovery. So it's still super, super. Um, I do run Lightning Staff back for, and we'll get into that why on the skills. is basically so you can heavy attack on that as well. Uh, we are running his bark on the front bar and back bar, mainly to buff up that physical resistance. And as you can see, we'll buff up a bit again, and so kind of show you. If we're running this, then you can take off 20. So it's just kind of nice to have that extra physical resistance. There's a lot of physical and, and elemental damage out here, so it's kind of nice to kind of have like an equal setting. Now, let's go over skills. Go back to the original setup that I had with Olos. And okay, here we go. So here's the skills I'm running, as you can see, running Olos and Battalion. Uh, I've been swapping out uh, Reflective Scale with Orbs back and forth. Um, just kind of... If the if the, uh, if the DPS is really good, I'll put on orbs because stuff's gonna die quick. But if the damage is kind of like, uh, and pe or people are just dying a lot, I'm definitely gonna throw on reflective, and just kind of have a good time. Because if you put on reflective, it's gonna reflect back pretty much everything that's getting shot at you. Most of the stuff that's getting shot at you is spell projectiles, so it's easily reflected back. Now, excuse me, uh, the first skill we're using is uh, Pierce Armor, your melee taunt, obviously, you guys know what it is. If you... um, Range Dragon Blood, it's just nice to have this on your front bar, because you're mainly going to be blocking on your sword and board bar. <clears throat> uh, again, Reflective Plate, this is super, super nice. I noticed that I didn't use this uh, in a few rounds and I would get hit by certain spell projectiles and stuff like that and of course I would get slowed down. Um, while I had this up, I was uh, I, I was free to move like if I was if I was walking like I was I was able to move pretty free. When I when I had this up it was it was it was nice. When I didn't have it up, I was I was literally like less like slowly walking it was such a pain in the ass <clears throat> so this is super super nice to run on every level and yes i mean every every level every arena every stage whatever it's super super uh igneous shield just kind of help yourself out with uh, a little bit of damage shield you could also run fragmented shield which gives you extra a little bit of time ending only preference up to you. Heroic Slash for the minor maim and the minor hero against Magma. I, I swap, I've been swapping this out between Magma and the Sword and Board or the Spell Wall. And the reason why is Magma is super nice, it's going to hit other people around you. It, it, it kind of it saves people lives. Spell wall is super super nice to have on some instances where you have a lot of people dying or you have your team members dying. You can literally kite your enemies around for a little bit, build spell wall up, rock it, and then start rezzing, and you will have enough time to res and while this is still up and fine. If anybody tries to like CC you or anything like that while spell spell walls up, it's not gonna happen. Only time it does if it's um uh, there's a few moves in there like a fear and stuff like that it'll definitely move out of the way but uh, uppercut or something like that even from the bone colossus won't won't move you from uh from when you're resing it super nice to have that sure my back bar been a rage the magic morph basically every skill on my back bar is magic. That's why I put balance on my back bar. It just didn't make sense to put balance on my front bar when all back. 
But anyways, uh, this is a ranged taunt. You're definitely going to be using this quite, quite a bit. And uh, so mainly just to hurry up and stack ads um, on the third on the third arena, there's quite a bit of uh, infusers, and you want to stack those as quick as possible. I uh, do use balance. You can use hardened armor if you want. You're just going to have to suffer with uh, not having either high recovery. You're going to have to deal with not having a way to get Magicka back. Heavy attack. One really. So that's why I like using balance. It's just a quick burst of magic. I hit it two or three times and I'm good to go. And that's only 15k health from 40k. Uh, healing Springs, obviously you know why, for the Olo's proc, that's literally all you're doing. You're not really using this. Sit there and try and heal people. It's, this is mainly two proc Olo's. That's the main reason why you have it on here. It is nice to have like a tick or two of uh, you know Healing Springs, but you're running around so much. There's only a few. And choking talons, just uh, mainly to PCL or like to kind of control all the ads. You want them to be in one spot the entire time, so that that way the deep AOE them down and kind of just demolish them. Um, you can pretty much use choking talons and then heavy attack with your resto or, or lightning bar if you have a staff and get magicka back, because you have enough time to hit talons that immediately. Heavy attack with your staff bar, and you're able to get Magicka back. And you can, you can do that continuously and end up potentially getting your. You are using Unrelenting uh, Grip, and the reason why is you would rather have the enemy get pulled to you instead of you getting pulled to the enemy and pulled. Plus, it refills, uh, refills the Magicka if you can't use it. And it's just super nice to use this on an infuser or something like that. You can't pull in like Roll, Wamasu, Hajimoto, any of the bosses, and kind of get that major expedition. And then of course we have Horn, which which again, if you guys are going for your first complete, I would probably put Magma on your back bar, then put Spell Wall on your front bar. It's super super nice and such a life. Kind of like what that way. You don't get even get minor toughness from this anyway, so it's well, you would only be using this to, that my that major force and the extra magic and stuff. Uh, but I don't really enter. I don't really change out any of my bars. The only the only skills that I change out are the middle skill. And of course, I already told you what I would change one out for. Which forms I'd be like the only thing I throw out. And that would be either um, if I had enough time to heavy attack, or if I had Magicka, I would throw out you know, a few orbs and, and let them have their. On my back bar, if I'm using a, a lightning staff, and what I do, <laughs> what I do like to do, is put wings on my back bar, either orbs or if I'm with uh, Magicka characters like Magicka or something like that. I'll usually put on, uh, I don't know, I'll usually put on engulfing. Um, other than that, you can put on blood altar, put blood altar, you can put on meditate. Meditate's super nice too. You basically grab all the ads, use choking talons, and then do deep thoughts for a little bit. Uh, you could probably get about three seconds off of it, and that's, that's more than enough stuff. Right? Uh, I did try time stop. I didn't like it. it took too long. It wasn't as effective as Talons. I wouldn't worry about using Turn the Undead either. It's a huge uh, stance. It takes away a lot of spam. And, uh, you're, you're constantly moving. So to be in something that's only about 5 meters. Um... I did run Vigor there for a little bit, but it was just too much to keep using. You are using a lot of use. I did try and use Purge, but I really didn't like it. It cost a lot of Magicka, and I, I have to use a bunch of Magicka in here. 
Um, trying to think if there's anything else that you could probably use instead of that. Uh, I wouldn't really worry about mist because you can't really heal yourself while in mist form. Invigorating drain, I wouldn't wear it either uh, because just um, the, there's a few places that you could use this to get ultimate back. It's totally risky and it's up to you. Could use Absorb Magicka if you feel. That, that's actually not too bad of an idea if you don't want to use something like that and you'd rather use Scam. You can use this and this will definitely give you a little bit of health. But uh, just know that you're going to have to cast this a lot more than you would have to cast Reflective Scam or ref Reflective Plate, whatever. On the on the infuser round, which is the the third arena and the fourth arena because they both have infusers, I do I really do like having deep breath on my front bar and I still have wings on my back bar. So what I like to do is uh, I'll like to I'll heavy attack them. So I'll pop pop my wings, heavy attack, pop my wings, and then stay on this bar for a little bit. And then when they go to uh, when they go to do the interrupt move to enrage all the ads around them, uh, I hit that deep breath, hit that, and then go back to heavy attack. So it's it's super super nice to to have the um, deep breath on and uh, they're they're both the lifesavers. I do not change out inner fire. I don't change out anything else on these bars. Um, Obviously, I told you I changed up my ultimate. Usually, put magma on my front or back bar, and then double on my front bar. Totally, totally preference on which you prefer. If you want to run double sword and board, then you can kind of put this run. Obviously, sword and board and the staff on your back bar. You're gonna have to have this. The spell wall on your front bar, magma back, which is fine too. You can do that as well. There's a lot of damage going out, and then once we, you know, once you start learning the mechanics, you can kind of tweak um, all this stuff to hide. So hopefully those sets help. Uh, hopefully all this stuff helped as far as, like, what to run, what I ran, whatnot. Again, I, I just recently changed to Dark Elf. Dark Elf is actually not too bad. You get max magic and max dam. A little bit more super super. All uh, right, was a Breton. Breton's also nice, uh, but the top race that you should probably be is Argonian, sure, then maybe Imperial, and then you kind of just pick it from like the best of them. DKs are super super nice in there uh, as well because of the Earth Heart massive uh, battle roar. Super, super nice. It's just absolutely. Time pop ultimate. So much health magic. Back it saves their ass so much. Battle roar, and then if you're an Argonian, you got the uh, resourceful passive. Anything you pay, anytime you take a pot, you get 12% more resources from everything. Or it's 4K. Excuse me, they just changed it. It's like 4K. Everything. So if you take a health pot, you're going to get 4k health, extra 4k health, extra 4k stand. Uh, that's... Uh, as far as the CP goes, this is what I was running. 49 and Hardy, 49 Ellie Defender. I put 44 into Thick Skin, 72 Ironclad. And then I've been, I've been toying with this quite a bit. I've been putting 37 into quick recovery and 19 into heavy armor focus. I've been really kind of like mess with all this stuff. But I, I found that this isn't as bad as a setup. Pretty basic, pretty pretty decent. I have 19 in the sprinter, 64 in tenacity, and then 75 in arcanist. The reason why I have so much into tenacity it's because um, the first time you're in there, you're going to be holding block all the time. 
because you don't know the mechanics yet you don't know what to block and what you can block what you can't block so it's super nice to put a, quite a bit into tenacity and then slowly start taking them out once you start learning the, me more, the mechanics more so anytime you have the attack with your your staff you're going to get quite a bit of uh, magicka back and if you have the attack with your sword and board you'll get I put uh, 40 in the tumbling because there are a few times that we do roll dodge quite a bit and it does help out to roll dodge. Helps out to put quite a bit in. Uh, 72 with the Shadow World Ward, excuse me. Uh, we don't really need to go to 100. 72 is good enough, I feel. 75, 72 in there. Uh, I just put the two extra in the weapon expert, but then I kept 120 here because we don't have a way of getting better. Future heroism. Pretty nice to have. Kind of put these. See fit. I put mine into uh, Thaumaturge, which I'm actually probably going to change mine. Probably a little bit of precise strike. Put a little into Thaumaturge. Kind of just kind of mix them up. You're a tank. You're not going to be doing a crap ton of damage. Totally up to you where you want to kind of put. Uh, I'm not going to like really min max. To put who we were mainly getting 120. If you don't want to put any into here, then uh, definitely put 100 100 in there, and then you can put some into physical because you are going to be heavy attacking, light attacking. Uh, and that's I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns at all, build any questions or anything like that, be sure to leave them in the comment section. And I'll be able to record it as fast as I can. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.